guys, welcome to another video for the Mi 11X, the Redmi K40 and the Poco F3. Now today we are talking about Android 12 once again. This is a beta custom ROM. You will have a ton of bugs. I've been using it since yesterday. I don't recommend you to flash it. And that's the exact reason why you have this video coming out to you. The reason why we make such video is so that you can look what is the progress, what is the progress coming in terms of custom ROMs and whether once it's stable, you should install it or not. So before we get into the initial impressions of this one, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. In the description of each video, you will find a link to our Telegram community where you have more than a thousand like-minded people chatting with each other. So join us there. Last but not the least, if you think the hard work is worth the effort, please click on the join button and support the channel. Now, without further ado, hello awesome people. Welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. Right, so what do we have here? AOSP Android 12 Beta, unofficial based on Android 12, updated on the 12th of September 2021, 1.1 gigabytes. How to flash, download and flash, boot and vendor boot, reboot to recovery, format data, side load ROM, reboot system. If you want to use Magisk, flash the previously downloaded boot image that is already patched. Magisk G apps should work, otherwise boot to DWRP, mount EXT storage by OTG and flash S canary or bit G apps or flame G apps. Firmware need firmware based 12.5.2 and more than 12.5.2 could cause problems with Moto Dolby. SE Linux is permissive. Now, this is AOSP extended unofficial beta. All the alarm bells should be ringing that you should not flash this ROM. And I also sort of felt the same. There is no bashing that is gonna happen for this particular team because they've clearly stated this is unofficial and beta. Now let's have a look what's to be expected over here. The moment you swipe from the top to bottom, you will see that you have this Android 12 look going on because of course this is Android 12. You have your power button in the bit center over here then you have your edit option you have all your android 12 features you also have music player go and stuff like that most of the features are working fine then you have your settings shortcut and i'll tell you that this rom is extremely smooth i don't know what google have done with android 12 or the source code they have made roms really really smooth and that is something really neat now the moment you boot into this rom you will see that it has this purple aosp extended wallpaper to the left you don't get google feed and if you go to home settings this is the quick step launcher if i'm not wrong and apart from this you have your android 12 widgets in a very very organized manner and then you have wallpaper in style you can enable or disable the dark theme you do have themed icons which is still in beta and that's about it you can go to change wallpaper you don't really have a lot of wallpapers over here but if you change the wallpaper the whole system follows the color of the wallpaper and that is really good to see. Now another thing that you would notice over here is that this particular ROM is very very minimalistic. You have very basic applications and you do have a Moto Audio or tuned by Dolby. So basically Dolby Audio that is, your, that is what you have over here. Now apart from this if you actually go to settings you have your very basic and standard Android 12 stuff going on. So if you actually go to the Easter egg, you see here, you have your Android 12 Easter egg working like a charm. AOSP extended version nine, unofficial October security patch, a very, very recent build date. And there is a perf kernel. Now that's where my problem is. You can try a beta ROM all you want, but you should have performance. Now I'll tell you one thing though, if you go to settings, if you actually go to display, you go to display features, you do have 120 Hertz. So that is good, right? And if you lock the phone, double tap to wake is working fine. So no problem there. And the ROM is very, very smooth and everything. But let's also have a look at the battery life over here, right? So you have thermal profiles, that is good, but you don't have a game mode, that is unfortunate. And as you can see over here, the battery life is not that great. And the G apps that I'm using are the Majisk G apps. So let me show you over here. It's installed as a Majisk module. So what happens is if you go to the Play Store and if you go to settings about device is not certified. So you might have problems with safety net. I have not tested Widevine L1, but let's go ahead and talk about the benchmark because this is an unofficial 
beta rom this is a showcase video to show you what is going to come next and what to expect for your device so we'll quickly have a look at the benchmark numbers so first the cpu throttle test now the cpu averaged around to 177,759 gips and 71% throttling that's bad plain bad and they are working on it so no bashing to them there all respect Single core 741, multi core 2087, not good again. And Antutu score is similarly low, 478, 586. So all in all, what I'm trying to say over here, the reason we are releasing this short five minute video is to tell you that AOSP extended in Android 12 is coming to the Mi 11X. It looks promising for now. The benchmark numbers are less, a few features are missing and it might not have the best performance that you would expect from the Mi 11X. So wait, hold on to your horses. Stable versions will keep coming out. For now, let me know in the comment section what do you think about this video and this quick ROM. Until the next one, this is Kailash, signing off at PhoneOps. Keep smiling, take care, goodbye.